Hello my friends, I hope you are doing good because today we're taking a look at something really, really cool. At least I think it's cool. But I'm also a Lamborghini nut. So we are taking a look at Lamborghinis today. So this is the first time that we have actually looked at this casting by Mini GT. It's the Lamborghini uh, Urus or Urus if you are Italian or actually I don't know if I think I think uh, Urus is actually an Italian or a Spanish word for something I don't know um, but anyways we've got Lamborghini Urus 172 and as you can tell there's two of them which means that one of them is a chase and I believe it's this one uh, I hope I, I I hope it's this one I, I stacked them in the right order but now I don't remember how I picked them up but anyways it is the Lamborghini Urus number 172 in blue Elios and it has the roof box so this is the old style box of course this is in the hundreds so this was quite a while ago um, probably back in like 2020 or maybe 2021 so these uh, both came out of blister packs so there's no Lamborghini licensing sticker on these I've had these for quite a while which is why they're both opened um, but I did get the Chase version brand new, and I did crack it myself. I think I bought this regular version used, or, yeah, probably used, I think. But there is the UPC right there. Just a standard global release. But uh, these are kind of older. I think you can still, honestly, I think you can still get these for retail, though. But what made me want to make this video on these Eurus is that... Mini GT announced that they are going to make the Urus per Performante version. Um, it just leaked a couple days ago. Well, at the time of this video being uploaded, probably like four or five days ago. Um, but they leaked, or not re leaked, but they revealed pre-orders for the a red version of the Urus Performante. So I've actually been waiting quite a while for them to make that version. Um, I will have had a picture up on screen of it. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. But I'm actually surprised it took them this long to do it. I know Mini GT has tons of projects that they're working on. But we're finally getting that casting. And it's going to be in red. It's going to look really nice. You bet we're going to get it on the channel and take a look at it. So, But that's what inspired today's video. So without any more talking, let's take a look at this. So of course, these have roof boxes. And they're also pretty big SUVs. So the boxes that these come in are not regular size. They are pretty big, um, kind of like jumbo boxes, similar to the size that you would see with your um, Range Rovers and uh, Land Rovers and stuff. So very nice. Look at the paint on this thing. I love it. This is one of my favorite paints that they do for Lamborghini. I actually think they did a, uh, a regular uh, OEM version of a Huracan in this color as well, and it looks really, really nice. So... All right, let's start off with the wheels. We got that like classic like Lamborghini style um, rim. They look really nice. You can see they have the Lamborghini badge in the center. They're a nice kind of metallic silver. Same thing on all four. I don't think the uh, back wheels are any wider th than the front um, or larger in diameter. Um, and they don't appear to be any thicker either. Um, this is a SUV. I mean, I guess it's still considered like a supercar SUV, but it's not quite as to the performance level of like a Huracan. So I guess the the fatter tires and the thicker back wheel doesn't really matter on this. But this is a four-door SUV. It's got a nice silver accent along the bottom of the door panels right there. Um, nice black running boards. Nothing too fancy. The paint is really nice, though. Of course, we have our rubber mirrors. Um, I'm not gonna mess with them. I'm not gonna mess with them and move them around because sometimes on these older models, I get paranoid that the rubber on these is gonna get brittle. So I I try not to mess with them too much. But um, the windows look nice. There's kind of uh, some black trim going around. But they are pretty good. There's some venting right here. I'd imagine uh, hot air comes out of the wheel wells right there, as we see on a lot of supercars. Um, going around to the front. The headlights are acrylic. They look really nice. We've got that uh, classic like Lamborghini LED strip going across there. Looks really good on both sides. We have a Lamborghini badge right in the center of the hood right there. Looks really good. Nice and accurate. The front license plate says Urus with the Italian flag under it. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think this little circle right here, if you can see that little circle, I actually think that's like a sensor. Um, so I don't know if this car has like some sort of like lane assist, 
but I do think that's like a front camera or front sensor, so that's kind of cool. You can see there's kind of some blue like uh, accents that kind of run into this little black trim piece right here in this corner and over here. Nice meshing on the front. Um, yeah, just uh, kind of like a classic Lamborghini uh, type of SUV front. Like if Lamborghini was to do an SUV, I feel like most people would think this is what it would kind of look like. So it's nice. It looks aggressive, but it's also not quite as aggressive as like your Huracans or Venadors or whatever. But it is nice. Coming around to this side, pretty much more of the same. We've got the little vent right there. There's your silver line. Um, towards the back right here, we do have our fuel filler. Um, going along to the roof of the vehicle, we do have a roof luggage box on top. So you can kind of see there's a couple um, there's a couple like racks right here that run across the roof of the car and then the roof box sits on it. I think it's kind of a cool touch, but uh, not necessary in my opinion. But they have made some other Eurises that don't have the roof box. So I don't mind that it has it, but it's not really my thing I kind of prefer it without it but I don't think you can remove these without breaking them I definitely would not recommend trying it but it's there if you like it you like it if you don't you don't I'm kind of impartial like I don't really care either way um, coming around to the back we've got our back windshield right there nothing too crazy uh, this whole back end right here does open up it is a hatch because it is the SUV so you can see that body line runs all the way up to kind of like up near the roof and all the way down to here. So we've got Eurus on the back license plate right there. Lamborghini badge in the center looks pretty good. We've got our taillights, very reminiscent of what we see on the Huracan, just uh, maybe a little bit bigger, and then they kind of like wrap around the side like they do, like it does on a lot of SUVs. Uh, we've got a little bit of venting, a little bit of black venting right here behind the rear wheels. Um, it's kind of the same concept as the front. Let's hot air out. Um, very nice contour lines. The paint looks really good. Back here, we've kind of got like a silver back bumper, which I think looks really good. There's kind of like some little um, little uh, diffuser lines right here, some like little ridges, I guess. I don't know if that's actually supposed to be a diffuser, but that's kind of what it looks like. But the silver accent back here definitely does look nice. We have quad exhaust, and then you can see the muffler right here. It's kind of cut out where the, where the screw hole goes, but... The exhaust tips kind of run around and come out right there, and they are metallic silver. A little bit different shade of silver than right here on the back bumper. The exhaust is a little bit lighter, so that is kind of cool. And then one last detail, kind of right above the wheels right here, we do have like black fenders on the front and back, so that kind of adds like a nice little, uh, nice little touch. So, and then the bottom, you can see a little bit of detail down here, but not really too much going on. So that is your Lamborghini Urus in um, blue Elios with the roof box, number 172. That was the regular version. So now let's take a look at the Chase version. The Chase of this one is actually really, really cool. And I want to keep picking up the Chase versions of these Lamborghini Uruses, but some of them are really hard to find because, um, yeah, some they're kind of getting old and they didn't really make a lot of the Chases for these. They didn't really make a lot of these older Euruses in general. So, all right, here's your chase. So right off the bat, you can see it is a lot different and there's a lot of little details that you wouldn't notice right away. But starting off of the most obvious thing you can see is that the wheels are blue instead of silver. They still have the Lamborghini badge in the center, but the blue, um, is very striking i guess you would say um it's not quite the same shade of blue that they use on the body it looks lighter in person it looks closer to the body color on camera but in person when you're looking under it with some bright lights it does look kind of different looks like on this spoke right here i have a little bit of gunk but i'm not gonna mess with it because i don't want to scratch it but yeah the wheels do look good though i do like them they match they do match the body color pretty well and then we also do have a color matched interior and it you can kind of tell a little bit better with the interior that it's a different shade because the wheels and the interior are a, are the same shade of blue and it's a little bit lighter than the actual body color and that might be because um maybe that's because the the metal on the body is clear coated and the interior is not or maybe it's just because it the paint looks a little bit different on plastic than it does on metal 
not exactly sure, but the interior is blue. It is it is nice. Let's you see a little bit more of the detail of the, the seats and stuff. But then another detail that's kind of easy to miss is on the side skirt right here, on the non-chase version, this bottom part right here is actually black. So they changed that from black to blue, and it's because they actually did a blue bottom side on this. So they painted the metal blue on the bottom, which is really cool. I love it when they used to do this on the old Lamborghinis. So as you can see, black on the regular, blue on the chase, looks really cool. And this little side skirt piece is part of the base of the car, so that's why it's blue instead of black. Um, coming around to the rear, which is uh, it's kind of interesting, um, you can see a little bit of extra blue accenting going on around the back. Let me grab the other one. So there is, on, the, on this one, you can see there's like some black accenting going uh, like right above the, the silver bumper. And then on the chase, it's all blue. Just everything is blue on the back. So you can see it in the middle of this uh, little silver line right here. And on the underside, kind of uh, nestled between the exhaust so it's all blue and then actually the same thing goes for the front so on the regular version all of this down here was black and now it's blue so it's really a it's really they did these Eurus chases really cool you can see how much more blue accent this one has like pretty much everything except like this main grill piece right here is uh, blue instead of black. So all this stuff down here was black on the regular and now it's all blue on the chase except for like this little center grill. So it does look really cool. Um, definitely definitely a, a lot of blue on this one but I think the way they kind of added it into the grill and then on the back and then the base and everything, the side skirts, I think it looks really nice. I, li I like the way that they did it on this one. Um, I believe uh, this is, pr I think this is the only Eurus Chase that was actually color matched with the body paint. Maybe the white one was too. I'm not sure. I actually, believe it or not, I actually don't have it. This is the only Eurus Chase I have is a blue one. But I think the yellow one, um, I think, I don't think the yellow one had yellow wheels. I think the chase of that one was uh, silver or black. I don't remember. Um, I think, yeah, so the wheels on the regular yellow one are silver, so I think the chase is black. The wheels on the white one, I think, are, they're silver just like the yellow one. I had to get up and look. I have my display case up on a shelf in front of me. So, yeah, I think this is the only Eurus that has, like, actually color-matched wheels and base and everything. So, it's kind of unique. Um, really curious to see what they do for the new Eurus Performante versions. But anyways, that is your chase and regular version of the Eurus number 172. Really hope you guys enjoyed. I appreciate all of your guys' support. Um, drop a like on the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And we will see you guys next time.